festive fun for all with a full house present at the Valley to witness seventh place Charlton Athletic take on third place Chelsea midway through the 2003-04 season. A London derby that always promised plenty of punch from both teams with Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich hoping his riches on the pitch would provide the crucial knockout blow. A win would take Charlton up three places to fourth in the Premiership, but Alan Kerbishley was forced to make a change from the team that had doggedly managed to draw against Newcastle, Jonathan Johansson replacing Klaus Jensen, who was suffering from a hip strain. The tinkerman Claudio Ranieri had to make do without Damien Duff for the first time in the season with a dislocated finger. Joe Cole replaced him. Hernan Crespo had scored in the previous match against Fulham to leave them a point off the top of the Premiership, but he was left out for Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Charlton, for so long considered one of London's lesser lights, was certainly making everybody sit up and take notice. Graham Pohl is the referee, Steve Banyard the commentator. The festive fixtures often regarded as critical in the final shake-up. Six points available in the coming three days may well make or break the season. John Terry concedes a corner inside the opening 20 seconds. Charlton bidding to reach a European competition for the first time ever this year. Di Canio's corner. Of a bump on the head for Jesper Gronka. And it's in! What a start! Just over 40 seconds and Herman Reinerson gives Charlton the lead. start and Herman Bryderson whose only previous goal was also from a corner against Blackburn some two months ago beats Cunagini in the opening minute well this fixture produced Ten goals in the two meetings last season. And what a start. Happy Christmas, happy Valley. Mutu. Gronkia to his right. On the side of Joe Cole drifting inside, but this is Johnson. A chance here maybe for Adrian Mutu if he can get it out from between his feet. And unable to score for a couple of matches and here against one of the top three they've already struck and Lampard there testing Dean Kiley Mutu's <laughs> corner three Chelsea players gone in each other's way there is Cole Kishishev snapping at his heels Lampard. Always been a midfield player who can score the occasional goal, Frank Lampard. That in itself will concern Charlton. There's a handball there, surely, but unintentional. Referee Graham Pohl allows Charlton to bring it forward with Graham Stewart here. Johnson. Tripping Di Canio, good advantage, Ryderson in possession, Ryderson the goal scorer, and Cunagini with a really important hand to tip it away, he's furious with his defenders. But great support play from Herman Ryderson. This time, a bit of a push there, always in front of the referee, this time from John Fortune. Goal officially timed against Claudio Ranieri's team at 43 seconds. Cole. And it's 
glanced in, and it's John Terry. That's Chelsea's response. John Terry's first goal of the season. And as he drifted in front of his marker there, look at the run he made. Diagonally in front of Charlton's defenders. A little bit of a slip there by Parker. Cole pounced. Here's Bridge. Great attacking instinct. Hasselbank. Almost stabbed home by Hasselbank. Terry charged down by Di Canio. It's broken here for Johansson. Chelsea, problems of their own making here. All credit, though, to Charlton. Pressing all the time, denying Chelsea the space. Cole, Musu, back for Cole. Great play by Chelsea. It's Cole. Joe Cole, always used to uh, the criticised for a lack of goals from someone with so much talent. Year on year, Charlton seem to continue to defy the pundits who expect them to be in the bottom half of the table. Mistake by Stewart, it's allowed in. Chelsea here, but Kishishev with a terrific tackle. Mutu mugged. Here's Ryderson. Yule. Di Canio. Still Paolo Di Canio. And it's Yule. Di Canio made the chance. Yule off time. Makulele. Chelsea very good on the counter attack. They've got quick and classy players. Cole looking for Hasselbank. Whistle's gone. Cole down, and, uh, well, Charlton feeling that Joe Cole made far too much of that. Parker went straight through, and uh, yellow card, Scott Parker. Hasselbank here, Mutu. Off the defender, surely, corner. John Terry with Chelsea's equaliser. It's come through here for Gronkjaer. Charlton not only had Dean Kiley in the way, also the man stationed on the post. Charlton keeper with two clean sheets in a row, but uh, shutting out a team like Chelsea, who've scored in all bar one of their league games this season. Just not possible today. Johnson. Lampard, dispossessed by Parker. To potential England, Collins in midfield then. Di Canio's dummy, Johansson springing forward here for Charlton. Great ball in, and they're back in front, it's Holland! It's a goal-scoring bonanza on Boxing Day, and it's Matty Holland restoring Charlton's advantage. They didn't know where to pick up Holland. Met it cleanly, met it true, and Charlton lead 2-1. quite unnecessarily from a Chelsea point of view. They just don't look settled today. And here comes Paolo Di Canio. Good distance on the punch. 
Parker. Bridge away. And that's dropped well for Adrian Mutu. Good ball out by Bridge. Stewart marking Mutu. Holland and Kishishev alongside him now. Ronka. Good uh, delivery and a great save. Mutu's header. He's uh, not the tallest, Adrian Mutu. But he got a good leap there for Gronkia's cross. Finally tipping over. I wonder what changes Claudio Ranieri might ponder in the half-time break. Does have Ida Good Johnson available again today. He feels he needs more firepower. He might not. Terrific running here. Lampard and Hasselbank almost in. It was Holland who got the nick back to his goalkeeper. And in fact, there's the half-time whistle. Well, we've had goals galore, chances are plenty. And a shake of the hand between Mutu and Holland. As the players make their half-time exit, it's been absorbing, it's been entertaining, and we've still got 45 minutes to come. Half-time, Charlton 2, Chelsea 1. So Chelsea bring on Idega Johnson. Wonder if that's going to be a good omen for them because uh, when Idega Johnson has played this season, Chelsea haven't lost. I wonder what he got for Christmas. Could do with a goal from him today. Lampard, good Johnson. And they do have such uh, industrious midfield players, Johnson. Holland, Stewart, Parker between them. Really trying to get a grip of that midfield. There's Parker doing exactly that. Yule, Parker here on the burst with Di Canio to the left. He's got to go it alone, maybe. Di Canio, great ball, and it's in, and it's Jonathan Johansson. Would you believe it? Charlton at the start of the second half doing exactly what they did at the start of the first. It was broken up in midfield by Parker. Di Canio didn't seem to have anywhere to go and then up pops Jonathan Johansson and John Terry culpable again of letting Paolo Di Canio in behind the Chelsea back line. Charlton very much in the driving seat here. Yule for four. It's Christmas time. It's Yule. 4 1 to Charlton. And they're scoring freely. They're scoring rather too easily for Chelsea's liking. He hasn't scored since August. But there, a mistake as it flipped up off uh, Wayne Bridge, I think it was. And Bridge serving to take out John Terry in the process. Slotted home by Jason Yule quite coolly. Chelsea's title aspirations getting a real dent today. I can't really put it down as uh, bad defending by Bridge. I think uh, he had to try and get something on it. It's bad fortune. Now Mutu. A 
haven't really created enough clear chances. Mutu had a header. Cole had a shot first half, which uh, weren't converted. He's still all smiles, though. Well, they've had more presence than everyone else this year, thanks to the richest and grandest sugar daddy of them all. The world's richest man under 40 has ploughed funds into Claudio Ranieri's team. Mutu. Chelsea might be rather relieved they've got a fixture coming up so quickly after this one. Johnson. The youngster's done well. Mutu. But again, Charlton snapping at the heels always. Makulele. Ryderson takes control. Steers it away from Cole. That was a fabulous little glancing touch into the path of Graham Stewart. Hansen with it. Now Yule and Charlton spreading the play quite beautifully here. Holland, Chelsea's defenders being pulled all over the place. It's Holland. It's a chance for Johansson. Well, it's Charlton playing the showcase football. They are stroking it around effortlessly and beautifully. And they've even got time for an exhibition touch or two. Almost at the midway point of the second half. 4-1 to Charlton in the Bath Picard English Premier League. Goals from Friderson, Holland, Johansson and Ewell. Here's Cole. And good Johnson. Lovely cross by Cole. Tried to pick his spot. Ewell could be in here again for Charlton. Just try to flick it on somehow, improvising as best he could. Here's Hasselbank for Mutu. Great play by the Romanian. Kylie blocking at the critical moment there for Charlton. The Johnson, yes, 4-2. Kylie kept them out once, but not twice. There's just a flicker of light at the end of the tunnel for Chelsea now. Lovely skill by Mutu, matched by Kylie's agility. But then the Johnson getting away from his two markers and drilling it home. Jeremy played his part. Great accuracy from the man from Iceland. And still 17 minutes to go. It's possible. Yule. Cole. Kishishev. Well, he got the ball. And the referee was just about a yard or two away from it. Kishishev has started it, and he's lost out here to Marcel Desai. Mutu. Another goal for Chelsea now would make the last ten minutes absolutely unmissable. Good Johnson for Mutu. That's a test of Charlton's resolve. A test of Chelsea's determination too. And the goalkeeper off his line, Terry puts it in. But the whistle has already gone. Graham Pohl claiming the goalkeeper was impeded. Let's have another look at this. Goalkeeper, if he's going to come for these, has got to get there, surely. But he was obstructed there by Jeremy. He's enjoying his afternoon, the referee, Graham Paul. <laughs> Joe Cole is coming off. But what Claudio Ranieri is planning to do here is fascinating. 
Ostensibly, it's a midfielder coming off and a defender coming on. Chelsea needing goals. Gallas at the moment taking up a position in midfield. Now Johansson for Parker. Johnson Mutu Hasselbank with Johnson ahead of him it's Adrian Mutu took on one too many in the end Desai Makalele Dallas up to Idago Johnson on here for Hasselbank Brilliantly spotted by Kylie, so quickly off his line. Jeremy on, Hasselbank, Good Johnson. What a finish this uh, could yet prove to be. Mutu keeps it alive, does really well. Chance for Charlton to break out is Ewell. Jeremy, Mutu, they did it last season, can they do it again, Mutu inside the area, goes down, a glance at the referee, and Mutu back on his feet, no penalty, Fisher Sheff was the defender, Makalele, Chelsea now flooding the Charlton half, Gallas, Johnson. The arrival of Gallas has allowed uh, Johnson to push further forward for Chelsea, but he's been marshalled well by Ryderson. You can't fault the effort they're putting in to try and get back in striking distance of Charlton. Charlton, on the other hand, have made their chances, they've taken their chances. And Paolo Di Canio about to come off to be replaced by Chris Powell. Paolo Di Canio, I don't think uh, there'll be any uh, questions from him about uh, coming off at this point. And uh, Jason Ewell pushing up. to try and give Charlton an outlet offensively. Powell to the left side of midfield, Konczewski now tucking in. And uh, effectively, Charlton now playing more a 4-5-1. Good Johnson, Makalele. Mutu's header. Caused a little confusion. They've dealt with it okay. Mutu on. Is Hasselbank. Just not clicked for Chelsea today. Konczewski misplacing the pass. Final minute of stoppage time. The Johnson kicks the advertising boards in disgust. Whistles all around the valley now. Worrying times for Claudio Ranieri. It's Charlton's day. It's a major shake-up for Chelsea. Their third defeat in four matches leaves the championship very much in Arsenal and Manchester United's favour and it's a happy valley, it's a happy Christmas down in South London at least and Alan Kerbishley's men have once again proved to be Chelsea's bogey team he may have to splash the cash in the January sales, full time, Charlton 4, Chelsea 2
Both London clubs achieved notable records by the end of the season. Charlton fans had plenty to dance about as they savoured their best Premiership finish and their highest league placing for some 50 years. And that despite the sale of Scott Parker to Chelsea. The Blues finished runners-up in the Premiership, which was their highest league finish for half a century. Despite that, Claudio Ranieri was sacked and replaced by the special one, Jose Mourinho.